Okay, this um, particular video will be the shortest video I've ever made. Um, it's it's about chlorophyll, really. Um, and <laughs> I've been having a play with chlorophyll ever since I did that um, gimmick a little battery for my leaf. Uh, I called it my leaf battery. Um, it's, it's bugged me ever since, and uh, I just had to find out what you know what properties this thing had actually got um, it just bothered me so I've been having a play with chlorophyll uh, in various areas um, and I just wanted to show this little bit uh, based on chlorophyll now what I've got here is a piece of magnesium which is nice and clean there's nothing on it that's a piece of copper, that's nice and clean, I've just scraped it, there's nothing on it. So that's bare magnesium, bare copper, and one metre, um, set on 200 milliamps. And what I'm going to do is put this thing into a dead short. Now this chlorophyll is uh, as pure as I can get it for now. And there it is. And that is just chlorophyll. There's nothing else in there. I mean, there may be some bits of uh, residual bits of cellulose from the leaves, you know, whatever, I don't know, but uh, it's, it's as pure as I can get it for now, as I said. But um, what I'm going to do first, I think, is we'll set that to volt. So we've got nothing at the moment, put that on there, now put some more of that on there, do that again, so we get 1.2 volts if I could just stabilize that tell you what we might do put a bit of a separator on there that might help and indeed it does so that's that now if I turn that to a 20 milliamp scale, that's giving 12 milliamps, as it is. Now that is uh, effectively in a dead short. But Now this is one of the properties that I uh, I was looking for, um, in any case. So it's still showing almost 10 milliamps. But, if I apply a little bit of heat to that, I'm out of gas. Okay then, back to the chlorophyll test. Um, I can't 
hold that down with a knife so I'm going to put a clamp on it and uh, start again Put a bit more fresh colour on there before we do this. Okay, so the motor's spinning. Um, if I do that, you can see that it's showing 14 milliamps. If I put a bit of heat on it, put it on the 200 milliamp scale, that's 130, 40 milliamps. 140 milliamps. Now if I just turn that off, look at that. Go to volts. Now that's obviously going down at the moment. So that's with a bit of heat. I could do that again. We're on 180 milliamps there. Obviously the motor doesn't want to run really because um, it's in short on the meter, but Now that's gone over the 200 So we'll put it on the 10 amp scale So there you go, 300 milliamps from chlorophyll and nothing else. I find that incredible. One spinning motor, one piece of copper, one piece of magnesium and chlorophyll. Which is now, of course, dry because that is proper heat. Let's put the heat back on. Voltage goes back up, put it back on the current scale, okay, put on 200 milliamps then. the clamp there that is just crazy isn't it so the effectiveness of heat on chlorophyll I wanted to show was um, that's a piece of magnesium and that's a piece of magnesium um, they're both nice and clean I've just cleaned them off nothing else on there um, and what I'm going to do is just put the tiniest amount of a 
activated carbon on there. And that really is a very small amount. And I'm going to put some more chlorophyll on there. And I'll put those two together. Now, the harder you press, the closer in contact those two metals are, the better the voltage. Go to current. There's your milliamps. So the tighter we make that, or I should say, the looser we make it. So it goes down. And the closer we get those two metals, the better off we are. And again, we put heat on it. Okay. Put some heat back on. So that's almost 150 milliamps. We go back to volts. And put the motor on. what you get. Just chlorophyll and a tiny sprinkle of activated carbon. I'm guessing that's a battery. Um, I suppose the obvious question is would it take a charge? I doubt it very much. more volts on the voltage but um, okay it took a bit of a charge and I'm expecting that to rise and for that well to start like that so There you have it then. Magnesium, magnesium, chlorophyll, bit of activated carbon. And it charged up. <laughs> 